Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to cover a topic that I've had quite a lot of questions about recently and that is how to upgrade from the uh, older versions of Firebase, so that's anything up to version 8, onto the new modular uh, version 9, um, particularly for Chrome extensions. So this is the, uh, the docs for this and it shows you know, a number of different things, so you can use npm or yarn to install this. So if you've used npm or yarn before and you have this installed, um, you know, this will be uh, really easy for you. Um, if you haven't used npm or yarn before, um, I'd recommend just quickly, you know, searching and downloading um, one of them. Um, they're essentially do the same thing, but they work in slightly different ways. Um, but the main difference is just like you can see here, the way you would run commands. Um, so if you haven't used or installed one of them before, I'd recommend going and doing that before watching the rest of this video. Um, but let's take a look now at uh, what this actually means and how you can start using this inside a Chrome extension. Okay, so uh, for this video, I've created a, a template to get started um, with uh, instructions, and I'm gonna go ahead and basically go through these steps with you and connect this with an example uh, Firebase database I have already. So you'll need to add your own Firebase config into this as well once you've built this. Um, but it's really, really simple. Now this is all based on the, uh, the Chrome extension rollup plugin uh, by uh, Extend Chrome, um, which is a really great plugin. I definitely recommend using this, especially as uh, everything moves across to manifest version three. Um, so I've just adapted their template here, just so that it will include Firebase. Um, but you can find more information on extend-chrome.dev. I'll put all the links to this uh, in the description as well. Um, so let's go ahead now and actually start running through these through these steps. So all we need to do first is uh, go into uh, terminal, create a new folder, and then CD into that directory because that's going to be where we're putting this new project. Um, if you've got an existing project, I'd recommend going through this flow first just so you get an idea of how this all works. So first, what we need to do is just copy this command. Then I'm going to go over here. So this is an empty folder we can see here. I've just created an empty folder. There's nothing in here. So this will basically just clone this repository and the, uh, the dot at the end here just means put it into this folder just here rather than creating a whole separate folder. So we'll just run that and you'll see now we have all of this information here. So this is the rollup plugin. Um, you can see it, it's really, really handy. So it lets you uh, have a different sets of command. I'll show you actually. I've, made some notes. Uh, so yeah, there's these separate commands you can run. So you can either be in development mode. So instead of having to go and refresh each time, this will automatically refresh. Um, you can create builds and then create releases. The main difference between these is that these are, you know, in, in production mode and they're already puts into a zip uh, file for you. So you can upload that straight to the, the web store. There's loads of other great features with it and you'll, you can find it all on their website. Um, but I'm going to try and keep this really simple right now. So we've done this step. Now we just need to run npm install or yarn install. Um, like I say, you can use either of these. I'm just going to run npm install. And what this will do is it will go through our package JSON file and just install all of the dependencies we need for this project to run. Now what you'll notice up here is the Firebase version 9 is one of these. So that's how you actually install Firebase now. So we don't have to run the command over here because we've already included it in our, in our JSON package. So when we run install just there, it's going to install everything in one go. So that will take a little moment. Um, it looks like my internet's quite slow whilst I'm recording this. So uh, I'll come back to you once that's complete. Okay, so now everything has uh, been installed. We can see here we now have this node modules uh, file up here. So if you've used NPM before, you recognize this, and that's where all of the information we need is located. Our extension itself is inside this source file, source folder. Um, so there's our manifest. You can go ahead and change this. And this is what the, uh, the rollup plugin uses to actually build the, uh, the extension. So if you were to use manifest version three, this is, in this example, I'm using manifest version two, just to keep things simple but they have now added manifest version three support. So just by changing that version, it will automatically update all of that for you. Well, most of the things you need, um, which keeps that nice and simple. Um, so for this example here, you can see I have a, a background uh, 
script and it's just going to basically connect to Firebase. So this is the way you use it now. So you import from Firebase. So this is where it's moved into a modular flow rather than you know just adding these the scripts before. So we have to include the different areas for just depending on what you're looking to do. You can find information for all of this in the uh, the Firebase doc. So they will explain. So if you want to, you know, read data, you can see now they've broken down each of the examples into the Firebase version nine modular examples and then the older uh, version eight examples. So you can see here we need to import the different uh, functions that we want to use, and then you can run it normally. So that, that part there doesn't really change too much. It's more how we actually import things. So here we've imported a number of different things. And then, so in this script here, I'm just setting up auth and fetching all the information from my database. So I'll connect my uh, uh, Firebase config in a moment and show you what this looks like. But first we're gonna show how we can actually run this. So if we just clear that terminal for a second, and we're gonna run npm run dev. Now what you'll notice up here is a folder will appear once it finishes building. So it'll take a moment just to compile all of that together. Um, and it'll also check for any permissions that you need to add into your manifest as well. So there we go, it's built it all. So it creates this folder just here. And there we go, you can see our manifest file is all ready to use. Um, and this would be slightly different if we create a build version. So if we were to look in here, you can see this information. But if we do run build, it's going to run slightly different commands. So you can customize these commands as well in your, your package up here, your package.json. So you can see here, we've got dev, we've got build, we've got release and, and testing as well. Um, so we'll close that. So that's been built and you can see it changes it very slightly um, just to be ready. And if I was to run npm run release, we'll notice this will go through and create a zip file as well. So again, that'll take a moment to process exactly the same as before. Um, but that's where your, your zip file will go into as well. Um, so that is how that works. Okay. So now that we've uh, taken a look at the different areas of the uh, Firebase version nine and using rollup plugin. We're going to go ahead now and add in my Firebase config and then actually run this and see what it's like. Okay, so I've added that in here now. So I'm now going to run uh, npm run dev. So what this will do is any changes I make, it will just refresh the build automatically. And I'll show you how that, how that works as well. So this should be ready in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead now. There we go, it's updated. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this into Chrome. Okay, so you can see here, we just want to select the dist uh, folder and that's got our extension in here. So if we just open that, here we can see is our extension. And if we look in here, you can see uh, the information here. So if we just open this up, we can see it's our background script. The user's not logged in. And then we have this object here, which is all of the information from my database. Um, exactly the same way that you would use it normally within Firebase. So you can see here's a, a background script. So if I was to change this, let's just say changed. You can see as I save that, it's a real uh, rebuilding uh, extension and updating it over here. You can see that updated. So just wait a moment for the changes to complete. And now if we refresh, you can see there's the new uh, updated uh, build. So that is uh, essentially how you can use uh, Firebase version 9. Um, it's quite a quick video, um, but if you've got any questions on this, feel free to leave a comment on this video uh, with what you're, you're looking at. I'll put links to all of this in the description. So I'll link to uh, this new uh, template for getting started. The Firebase doc, so I'll link to this page specifically and the example pages here to show the differences uh, between 8 version eight and nine. Also the rollup plugin uh, extend Chrome link. Um, so I have a lot more information on how to get started. Specifics with uh, setting up the config um, for how things should actually build and just generally more information there as well. 
Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And if you've got any questions, just leave them down below. Thanks.